Hello Technology Crazy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own homemade speaker. Okay, today we're going to be making this paper plate speaker out of some household items. Uh, so to make this speaker, you will need a paper plate or a styrofoam plate. Now the bigger will be better and you can also experiment with different things. You will need some cardboard, three business cards and that can be substituted for cardstock if you don't have any. Some magnet wire. Now it's a very very thin wire that you might be able to find in some electric motors uh, but if you don't have it you can always go buy it. It's really cheap. It's a very very thin wire that you can easily wrap around. You need some scissors, some tape, a hot glue gun, a cylinder magnet. Now this is the very important uh, piece. You're gonna need a cylinder magnet. It can be smaller or bigger and some paper. It's also really handy to have these uh, little clamps as well as uh, as some pliers just to uh, pull out some things here and there and to cut wire. Okay so step one is to cut three strips of long paper that is thicker than your magnet. Once you have your three strips of paper we're gonna start wrapping it around the cylinder magnet and when you're done the strip just simply tape it securely to itself but make sure it's not too tight. When you're on the very last strip, make sure you tape it once again, just to make sure it doesn't fall apart in the next few steps. Step two is going to be to take out the magnet and take your paper cylinder and glue it on the bottom center of the paper plate. Step three, we're going to be taking our magnet, sticking it back in, and we're going to take our magnet wire and start wrapping it around. Make sure you leave a little bit of extra wire to get away from the plate. Uh, just to make it easier in the future. I just took a little bit of hot glue and stuck it at the very bottom just to secure the wire so when I wrap it, I can wrap it really tight. Now comes the really exciting part that you can take the magnet wire and wrap it around and around and around and around the magnet till you get to the height of the magnet. Once you get to the very top, take a piece of tape and tape it just to make sure the wire doesn't uncoil. Step number five is to take off and strip the very ends of the wire. The easiest way to do that is to take a lighter or a match and simply burn the, uh, in my case, the blue insulator on the wire to reveal the silver wire underneath. Step number six is we're going to be taking out the magnet. I just used a really strong magnet and when that fails, you can always flip it upside down and just shake it until the magnet comes out. Next we're going to be taking off the first two strips of paper. Um, or coils. It doesn't matter if you rip it at this point. All we need is the wire to stay intact. So you can just take off the first two layers here. Step seven, we're going to be taking our business cards, folding them in half, and then folding them back out to make a W. This will act as our spring on our speaker. After you're done the three business cards, you can take a piece of tape and start taping it down to our plate. Uh, make sure it's into a triangle. This is to stop the shaking from back and forth and just cause it to go up and down. The act of springs hovering the plate just above the magnet. Uh, I suggest the very first time doing it, just use tape because you'll probably be taking apart and rearranging things to get the perfect sound. It took me five different tries, five different plates uh, to get it all working. So I suggest just using tape, but then when you get it all perfect, then tape it down really crazy or glue it uh, just to stop the vibration from happening. Once you have your three springs in place, we can take the magnet and hot glue it to the cardboard. Then we're going to take our plate and stick it on top. And then we're going to be gluing or taping uh, the bottom of the spring to the cardboard. The very last step, which is completely optional, is I took these little clamps and wired them onto my wires. And there you have it. This is the actual sound quality of the speaker. This is my fourth version here and I did a few modifications. It's probably worth saying that you do need to th stick this thing to an amp. So what I did is I have a speaker system here that I just unplugged the speakers and plugged my speaker into the back of the uh, speaker system and that uh, supplied it with power uh, because your iPhone won't be able to power this thing. It will but it will be very very quiet so to get that extra volume you will need to hook it up to an amp. Now a few modifications I did here is I stuck little hot glue little legs on the bottom of the bucket here to stop the vibration. I also stuck a bucket here this will add all the low range sounds. I taped everything very very secure uh, so you won't hear any of the rattling that you might hear when you get a little bit more bass. I also secured all the springs really really tight to get rid of that rattle. I did a second voice coil so uh, I took the, the coiling and I did a second round of it and that supplied me with a lot better sound, a lot louder sound and much much more bass but unfortunately it does take more power and it will get a little bit hotter. 
so if you have the extra voice coil or magnet uh, coil, then you should try that. Anyways, I guess that's all. I really want to see your guys' uh, versions of the speaker, so please leave a video response below, and I'll make sure to watch it and comment. So I guess that's all from v Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Anyways, the Pikmin program winner this week is Mac Knowledge HD, and basically he does tech videos just like me. And I thought his videos were pretty cool, so if you want to check out his channel, go and click on the video on your screen right now. Now, if you want to be part of the Pikmin program, that basically means a free shout out. All you have to do is go into my latest video and say Pikmin, and you can say it as many times as you want, as long as it's with a normal comment. Uh, and then I might pick you. So I guess that concludes this video. Please make your speakers, and I hope you have fun. I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.